Well, hello everyone. This is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries with another video regarding wonderful, powerful techniques in NX. And lots of times when you have a model that you've made uh, or someone else has made, there might be many, many features and you may not remember exactly how it was made and you may have to gain an understanding for what was done. And so there is a very nice technique that you can perform. If you do Control Shift Home, it sets the very first entity as the current entity. Control Shift Home. And then if you Control Shift Right Arrow, it will step you through the different entities, just like this. So you can hit it a bunch of times, or you can Control Shift End, and it will make the last feature the current feature, just like that. So that's a very powerful way of understanding exactly what was done to create a certain model. So for example, for this particular model, we did a hexagonal sketch on the XY plane. Then we did a drive curve on the YZ plane. Then we did a sweep swept that hexagonal sketch along that drive curve with a twist. So that's an angular law. And we also did a perimeter law that was converging. So as we swept along that guide, it was twisting as it was getting smaller. Then we created a sketch on one of the edges of the swept feature. And then we swept that circle along that, that feature with another perimeter law, starting with a perimeter that uh, gave us the uh, full diameter of that circle and getting smaller as it went. So that was done five more times or four more times to make five and then we have this beautiful array of uh, twisted shapes. It looks like something from The Hobbit or you know Lord of the Rings. Um, I think it's really beautiful. I'd like to see this made as a very large sculpture. Then we did a bunch of spheres uh, at the very base of those sweeps and at some point united it all together, trimmed the bottom, did a bunch of blending, put a bunch of spheres at the top, united that all together, did a bunch of blending on that, and finally finishing up with all of our edge blends. There we go. And so there you have it using control shift home control shift end control shift right arrow control shift left arrow we have the ability to kind of go in and out of any model that you've made parametrically it's a fantastically powerful technique and again this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries bringing you these techniques and many many more if you hit our website at www.designviz.com or our YouTube channel you'll see many other videos. Hopefully you enjoy them. Please give us feedback. Thanks for being part of this community of amazingly creative folks. I feel very privileged to give you these. Thanks again.